Today at Blade HQ, we're looking at a bunch of butterfly ballet song knives. It just takes a little bit of flourish from a ballet song, and people are like, whoa, it's or okay. whoa. Yeah. One of the two. Funny, can I tell you a funny story about this knife? Hit me. What is up, guys? Today at Blade HQ, we're looking at a bunch of butterfly ballet song knives. Zach, what's gonna what's gonna roll out here? Well, what we're gonna roll out is we've actually got Hans from Benchmade with us, and he's going to run us through everything that's going on with ballets at Benchmade. And as a special teaser specialness for everybody, if you wait till the end, Hans is gonna treat, teach you a ballet trick. So direct from Hans at Benchmade. Direct from Hans at okay, Benchmade. What's, what's first on the list? Okay, what we got, Hans? You're 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 leading this oh. this race. Okay, we're going from left to right here. Left Absolutely. to right, let's Always do it. We right. should start here. You guys got some excitement here. Hell yeah, we have a little yeah. excitement in the Ooh. middle. Ooh, should yeah. we tease it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, oh, it's back in the line. Uh, <laughs> so, speaking of awesome platform, the fifty one. Um, these guys are. You guys have been doing exclusives on these for years. We have been. You yeah. know, So. Yeah. Um, really, really phenomenal, lightweight. Everyday carry ballet. Honestly, one of the best out there. Um, you've got beautifully jeweled titanium liners, so you got a really nice kind of visual pop. Pop! Uh, G10 has a nice grip to it, stays nice and lightweight. You got a really great pocket clip in there, great retention, also made of titanium, so you get a little bling. Uh, you got the nitrous spring latch. Uh, what's really cool about that is once you pull this knife out of your pocket, just a quick squeeze, that thing pops pop. open and you're ready to rock. Um, and then D2 tool steel. This comes in both the satin blade. We've got the coated blade here as well, um, but these are these are the quintessential everyday carry ballet. Also super fun to flip. Nice. And I definitely see lots of people out there having fun with uh, personalization. Yeah. So Hans, you follow the the ballet market like super closely. Why is the fifty one one of the most popular out there? Like, why would somebody want that one? Um, for a lot of people, it's their first step into kind of a more premium ballet. Okay. You know, once you get a little taste for having some fun with it or using one or carrying one, uh, if you're looking for something that's built really well, something with a lifetime warranty, you know, the bench made sure. deal, um, that's usually people's first step in there. It, will you will you warranty it if I like flip an aerial and it, it just goes kaput? Everything Benchmade's warranted for life. Mm. A lot of the reasons Love. why I yeah. recommend Benchmade's, and the trainer here in particular, but if you're just getting in, our stuff's made to last. And it's lifetime warranted, so you're covered. You know what I mean? Nice. Um, obviously, if you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing, you pry it and break the tip off, it's like 30 bucks to get a new blade, which is still a hell of a deal. Yeah. Um, but these things are made to stay together. The problem people have, usually on their first ballet, is just after a couple drops or a little bit of flip time, something pops out, Pop. falls apart, tang pins break, you know what I mean? So it's, I recommend just getting right into something that you know you can have some fun with and you don't have to worry as much about. Nice. Totally. And price wise, these are coming in right around 260 to 280-ish on the website. Always check the website for current pricing, but that's about where you're at with these. Yeah, this was your exclusive yeah. last year here. You get the green G10, same blue, uh, liners, but oh, I'll grab a satin blade. But the finish on that blade, I really like. It's like it's a wash. scratch finish, stone wash. Um, really cool. I like a nice satin finish. Versus, but yeah, versus that that stone wash finish is really cool. I think that's that's super nice. And you guys continued doing that beautiful stone wash finish. And I think on the orange, one of the yeah. best hey, evolutions. Can, can I show the yet. people this? Look at this. The, every time we do a ballet video, the guys are like, "Ben, you're a wuss." Flip something. So there. Boom. <laughs> Double so I opened out. it. I closed it. It's been flipped. <laughs> it's been flipped. All right. <laughs> oh, yes, see there we go. go. All right, one up. <laughs> so I love what you guys did here. This is nice. really fun. Um, the contrast. You kind of did away with the jeweling and the bright pop and went totally, I don't know, matte. Yeah. Matte finish, stone wash tie liners, same with the clip. That's one of my favorite clips that I've seen actually. It's super awesome. Goes really well with the stone wash finish on the blade. And this is an exclusive, guys, that we have coming out soon and shortly. So this is actually straight from Benchmade. Hans brought it on the plane, right yeah. hot off the line. So these will be in the store. If they're not there now, it'll be soon. <laughs> these are really nice. I yeah. dig it a lot. They're awesome. So one thing I like about this particular model too, so you've got this, call it 42 styling, kind of your classic ballet song styling on this guy. And then that carries off into the next series, the 60s. Can we call it the 60s? Yeah, the 6X series. The 6X series. Yeah. Is that the official name? Yeah. Look at that. I like it. So yeah, you got your 62, 62T, 
your 63 and your 67. My nice. personal favorite, the 67. Okay. Um, Start us out. Tell us about it. Yeah. Well, so I mentioned these as everyday carry for a reason. The pocket clip, the lightweight, they're very slim. You can flip them for sure, and they're a ton of fun. For actually getting into a lot of momentum-based moves, even aerial, stuff like that, the extra weight provided by these fully contoured, kind of hand-done uh, stainless steel handles is what you're looking for. Like, if you really want to up your flipping game, you do need a little bit more weight. People can do all the same stuff, but I find it a little easier, a little more comfortable to do a lot of momentum-based moves with just a little bit more weight behind the handle. Nice. So classic, uh, classic good looks here. You mentioned the 42, similar styling to what kind of classic Benchmade ballets have been doing since the beginning, since before Benchmade was even Benchmade. You know, ballet songs, uh, Pacific Cutlery, Benchmade, classic that, look. That's the styling, yep. yeah. That's the look you're going for. In fact, the Weehawk blade used by Benchmade has a little bit of a story. Do you guys know where the, uh, no, no, the I don't Weehawk actually. come from? No, yeah, yeah. You must have you ever us. been yeah. curious why this is a unique blade? I am now. The Weehawk? Yeah. <laughs> Tell us. Are you guys familiar with a man named Jody Sampson? Jody Sampson, yes. um, before coming to work for Benchmade, did uh, a lot of swords for Hollywood movies, like okay. Conan the Barbarian, mm -hmm. all the swords there, that's Jody Sampson's work. Cool. So we did a lot of like fantasy stuff, but really high end, like really cool um, work. And he came to work for Benchmade, uh, Jody Sampson was a big nerd, really liked a movie, a terrible late 70s movie called The Wizards. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> not familiar there. 1977, kind of that, it's, when it's they were classic. doing that blend of like cartoon and mm. real life video. Yeah, it's it, horrible. And just horrible. No, yeah, it's, it's, it's classic. Yeah, yeah, and it's classic. Vintage. Two, two, vintage. Yeah, vintage. <laughs> two wizards, one good, one evil. The helper elf of the good wizard was named Weehawk. And oh, so he, that's thusly, so darn. Jody Sampson named the blade. Because Mark Hamill, off. he voices some stuff in that too. He he's he's one yes. of the like fairies or something, yes. right? Yeah, that's that's why it sounded familiar. That's where it comes from. You got to watch more nerdy, crappy movies. Yes, <laughs> I'm aware of that. I think I need to make some time for that. No, I don't know if you need to. But see, that's an interesting thing because Weehawk sounds knifey. It sounds so yeah. yeah. It's tactical. It's only a tactical name. Well, now it's nerdy. I love it. Oh, man, so, that makes yeah. me so much happier about that knife, knowing that that is where it comes from. I love any stories about Jody Sampson it's and amazing. the stuff he got to do. I mean, obviously, the trainer blade, designed to be the safest one out there, right? You still probably end up with some bruised knuckles or some pinching at the most, but you don't have to worry about cutting yourself on that one. This is my and kind of blade. The other, the other nice thing between these two is you don't have to worry about cutting. You can practice. But you get all that weighted and everything you were talking about, here you're looking at about 340-ish, and yep. here you're looking about 278-ish. Yeah. So again, that there's that that little bit of price difference. You get the weight, and you get some trainer, right? Live blades are cooler, but trainers can be nice sometimes too. <laughs> Fingers well, are cool too. Fingers are cool too. I mean, you got 10 though, right? Uh, yeah, like, I mean, what's, what's a finger here, a finger there? Yeah, you know? I mean, a lot of people when they're getting into it, if you don't want to get the trainer, you can just take a knife and just roll the edge. Yeah. A lot of people either use like painter's tape, Tape it up. Honestly, that tape wears out pretty quick if you're really getting some practice in. If you just take any kind of uh, sharpening stone and just roll the edge lightly, then when you're ready or you want to make it a user, boom, easy to just put that edge right back on and you've got yourself a user. And then you have it, yeah. exactly. So that's what nice. I'd recommend, at least for the first couple times. Um, you got your nice uh, clip point blade there and then my personal favorite, 67. Mm. So. This Tonto is one of my favorite blade shapes. It's an amazing grind, Super too. Cool. Yeah, like, really fun blade shape. Really great platform for personalization and laser marks, too, if you ever want to have some fun with that. Nice. Cool. It's good times. Nice. Let me ask you this, Hans. On the, uh, this is not a spring latch, right? Nope. So talk to me about why would I want a spring latch versus a non-spring latch? Well, the spring latch is way cool. Okay. That's why you'd want it. <laughs> did, I, did I not sold. demonstrate? Uh, well, I know, I know. Boom. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sold. <laughs> now, even with this latch, it does protect the tip of the knife. So the latch does have a stop pin, so that latch isn't going to come down and actually rub against your blade. Got it. The only thing, and a lot of people remove the latches on their knives because of this. Yeah. And there are some times when you're doing certain moves that that latch will get away and it's a little annoying. But at least with these, you know, you've got a pin there, so you're not going to be coming down on your blade. Nice. The spring latch is just awesome because, again, like right out of pocket, like I can pull this right out of my pocket, bam, and then I'm right into like I can do some whatever. Yeah. Super fun. The squeeze latch is mm, so good. And I think the squeeze latch takes it from kind of being 
some like a sport or something that's fun or a hobby to like something you could carry every day yeah. and like it's just really practical and quick and easy to use for that reason yeah right nice now you pull that out in a crowd and you might get some looks though you're going for the looks <laughs> yeah, if you're right? carrying a ballot going for like, the looks that's the goal <laughs> I love it yeah it's I all love about it. the looks yeah <laughs> I like it okay what's last on the list here Hans this one actually came out for Benchmade's 30th anniversary the 87 named uh, after the year Benchmade got started there, 1987. So this one is a radical departure from all things traditional ballet song. Um, you do get into titanium, however, this is single piece handles. So these are solid billets channeled out. Then um, you've got everything running on ball bearings, custom pivots. These are even Torx tang pins. Wow. I can challenge you to find that out there. It's tough. Usually you got press tang pins on a lot of ballets. Yeah. So these, again, when you're thinking Benchmade, lifetime warranty, mm -hmm. you know, do your worst. Yeah, built strong, We'll take care well. of it for you. But that's a nice add. You do have a really special spring latch on this one too, with no spring. Magnetic, right? Magnetic yeah. latch. So and this, that's fun. Same been... kind of functionality here, but when you pop it, it's magnets yeah. that actually force that out. Nice. Funny, can I tell you a funny story about this knife? Hit me. So there we were at Blade Show last year. And uh, we lost a knife. We lo actually lost an Alpha Beast. Couldn't find it. It was on our table, and it was, then it was gone. And we came home with an 87. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but it, huh. it's a strange little thing. This is actually the one that's been kicking around the office for like a year. And I literally have no idea where it came from. Well, so if came, you're missing came, an 87 and right. you traded it for an Alpha, Alpha Beast... Beast? We've got your 87. We got your 87. <laughs> I don't know. At Blade Show, I always say, sometimes those knives find you. <laughs> there you go. I <laughs> Maybe love it. Maybe so. Maybe so. I love it. <laughs> but anyway, I, I think that's amazing. And somebody told me that these handles take how much machine time? Like, I, a heap ton of a machine time each, right? Yeah. You're, I mean, you're probably looking at, I think the runtime was somewhere around like 38 minutes a handle on a time mill. And that's a lot of time for yeah. compared to what we're doing typically. Nice. So tons of time put into it. Very labor intensive, like the 781, the single piece axis. They just take a ton of time. It's but. you know, beautiful knife. It's anniversary piece, all that jazz. You know, with the uh, magnetic lock on the end, but it is something you pay for. It comes because this comes in our price on this is like right around 500. So it's a couple yeah, it's bucks. Spendy. It's yeah. a couple bucks. It's beautiful. It's got a lot of unique features. So it's a great knife um, for flipping or even just for collecting, yeah. just kind of being what it is. Yeah, know? for flipping, I mean, I find this guy to be a little fast because of the ball bearings. That being said, the length of the handles and the weight you get at the end for momentum-based rollover moves, it's really, really fun. It just just flies. It's really cool. Cool. Okay, Hans, so you, you flip as, as a side hobby, among other things. Yeah. Which one do you flip most regularly here on the table? Uh, 67. 67. I mean, I've... Done some personalization to nice. mine in terms of handles nice. and such. So I get to have a little bit of fun with that. Um, I like a little bit of extra length. That's what I was talking about. Even with the 87, you kind of get that extra half inch that really does give you a little more purchase. The knife I've carried the most, you know, it, the 51 is, is one of the ballets that I've actually used the most for using a knife, okay. not just flipping a knife, you know what I mean? Got it. So it's just fun to carry. Honestly, for those of you who are even fans of like I don't, the 940, you're right, that super slim, you get that long blade and that slim package, you're not going much wider or much longer than this thing. It fits in the pocket in a lot of the same ways. Nice. And you get the looks when you pull it out. Right, exactly. It's cool. Exactly. And it just takes a little bit of flourish from a ballet song and people are like, whoa, it's or whoa, yeah. one of the two. You get a whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Hans, we, we promised these good people a whoa. Yeah. So uh, teach them a trick. Sure. So. Um, Probably the first thing most people learn, like what you demonstrated there, oh, is that, yeah. that double rollout. And that double rollout, if you haven't learned it yet, it's your first foray into opening and closing a knife. And it looks cool and it's easy. The first real flare you can throw in there is the twirl. And the twirl, you never have to let go of this safe handle, so it makes it a nice entry level move. Instead of completing the double rollout at this point, just put our middle finger over the top. And I'm gonna take my palm from up to the same way as my elbow's pointing here. And I'm gonna twirl it around, and I'm gonna bring it all the way back and then up, and I'll demonstrate how that looks here. So, open, twirl, boom. And it looks like a lot more is going on, yeah. when in reality I just spun it around on my finger, right? You, so, never, you never left the safe handle. Never left the safe handle. Mm, and you can cool. do this, it's nice for demonstrating a knife, I can do it over the table, you know, and horizontal, and makes it look like a lot more than it is. So while you're learning all your aerials and momentum-based moves, when people find out you're learning, and they ask you to show them something, Risk-free, do the twirl, they'll still have their minds blown. 
No, nice. No problem. Awesome. Mind blown. Plus yeah. fingers intact. Yeah. yeah, fingers intact. Always a good it. thing. <laughs> I love it. Very good. Thank you, Hans. That's fantastic. Really yeah. good. Guys, if you want to buy a Bally Song or a Butterfly Knife or whatever you want to call it, the place to buy it is bladehq.com. We've got a whole bunch of Butterfly Knives over there, including all of these Benchmade ones and that Get brand new one. On this bad mm. boy. Yeah. Mm. Yep. <laughs> That's a beautiful one. So there you have it, guys. We'll have another video coming out for you next week. Thank you, Hans, as always. Yeah, I love being it. here. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Super secret password. <clears throat> Oh yeah. Yes. Unique New York. Unique New York. The human torch was denied a bank loan. Bank loan. <laughs> <laughs>